have said that they're sorting out a number of issues before they give us a comprehensive report on why exactly they decided to uh, cancel the Nairobi ODM uh, primaries. Of course, we've gotten a reaction from a number of people who turned up very early in the morning to vote, but they were unable to some have expressed disappointment in the party. But let's now speak to Agnes Zani, the Secretary General of the party, to get a better feel of what exactly is happening here. It's such a busy day here. I've managed to get out for a very few minutes, so we'll keep it very short. Thank you very much for joining us here. Why exactly have you cancelled the ODM Let me start practice? with the Nairobi issue and first start by appealing to our members uh, that you know as a board and as a party and as a secretariat we've tried to keep to each of the arrangements and the procedures. We've given uh, timelines and tried to adhere to timelines. By the time we are cancelling it means there's something serious enough that needs to be cancelled. In a few minutes, we're going to get another press release to explain to us the way forward. We don't want to do it in bits. We want to come up with that and also give the next time we're going to exercise. And to our members out there, we understand what you're feeling because we are ready for this. But there was absolutely no way we would have been able to continue. We'd like to have continued, but we were not able to continue. We would not have wanted to stop if we were going to be able to continue. So there's a, there's, it was an absolute necessity. And we'll be coming back with this yes. communication. We're getting reports that uh, the place where the voting material was placed was raided in the evening and has disrupted the whole uh, program you had for Nairobi. Could you confirm this? I have stated and I'm repeating, we've had logistical issues, they've been dealt with, and the moment we have sorted them out, because that will mean we have to reorganize ourselves, we'll get back to our members. If you have noticed, none of the polling stations where uh, the exercise was to be done have ended up without the exercise being done. None of the exercises where we're hoping to have a repeat, we haven't had a repeat. We've had issues. Like, for example, most of the people here, and we've talked to them and found a way forward, and they're members of the party, and they're very happy with our resolution, a way forward. We trying to go by our realities on the ground. I mean, this is a situation, and these are the logistics that come. Where we've had, for example, in Taitataveta, in the five police stations, because of raid not being able to do, we understand the implications and are coming back to be able to address this. So give us time, please, as members of the media. Give us time so that we go back onto the drawing boards and let us come back with that statement in the next few minutes. Are you going to see you take advantage of the extension of the deadline? That is something also we're going to discuss at length uh, because on uh, Sunday we actually had a very fruitful meeting with IBC and we had all members of the various political parties uh, really saying that um, as uh, election uh, players we want to be able to respect as much as possible the deadlines that, that have been given. And obviously we're looking at the 13th up to the 26th deadline that had been given and many parties had made progress. Some parties felt they needed a bit of more time. Some parties felt within the time they'd be able to have uh, handle it. We had a very good discussion. And up to that point, we agreed that we were going to have it up to the 26th. Now, we have a situation now here where things have changed. We're going to go back again and look at our logistics. We still have tomorrow, for example, from our end. So allow us to make those management decisions, and then we'll get back to you. I know you're in you. such a hurry, but how are you going to handle all the disputes that have come out as a result of the primaries that have been held in various counties and countries? We, we have a tribunal, that a dispute, a national dispute resolution tribunal that has been set out by uh, ODM. They've already been working. I have had a consultation with them. We've dealt with 75% of the cases. What I think is happening now is that some of these cases, as much as they've been resolved and we found a way forward, some of those res resolutions are still things people need to talk about a bit more. That's what I've realized. So we're getting more teams from the various areas to say, look here, this is what what we resolved, you're not happy with this. What are the other options, and how can we go together? Right. And we've said together, Mbele Pamoja right. as ODM. Thank you so thank much you for speaking much. to Have us. Been. That is Secretary General of the ODM Party, Agnes Zani, speaking to us. As she says, we should be patient. They will be giving us 